Hey guys, this is Mike with Circuit Global, the new YouTube channel where we bring you updates and advice on PC hardware, gaming, and new tech. So if you like that sort of thing, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe below. Today we're going to be bringing you a look at the new Radeon 7, which is going to be replacing the two RX 580s in my daily use PC. So be sure to keep your eyes open for a giveaway here in the near future. Now I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding the initial release of the Radeon 7, but with the updated drivers, things do seem to be improving. And what we're going to do is put it to the test of not only gaming, but also some special use cases. Additionally, we will be releasing tutorials on overclocking, undervolting, as well as water cooling. So be sure you check out this entire Radeon 7 series. And even though AMD was five days late getting this in the mail, it's here. So let's see what we've got. One Radeon 7. No serial number listed, which I'm only curious about because they were so late getting this in the mail, I thought perhaps they had to wait for the second batch to actually ship mine. So it will be interesting to see if the serial number on my card actually matches the serial number on my invoice. We'll see. As prescribed, extreme gaming. Extraordinary creation, but we're certainly gonna be putting gaming to the test. Now AMD 7 has had a really hard time of it in the media since its initial launch. The press drivers were trash, which has caused them a lot of problems. But ever since 19.2.2 released, I've seen a few reviews online that seem to indicate some improved performance, more stability mostly. This all seems extremely useful. It is heavy. Now I knew this had a metal chassis and heat sink, but wow. Now as opposed to the single blower option that they went with in their previous generation Vega reference cards, here we have the three fan setup. Fairly cool to the touch, probably aluminum. Pretty decent looking heat sink. It does go all the way across, although it's not as raised as this all the way through. Of course, they had to make space for the fans. We'll get a better look at that during our breakdown. The one thing that I know you're all concerned about is the RGB logo here and on the corner. Now I was curious to see if I would get a AMD warranty void if removed sticker on my card and I did. Of course we all know that's not enforceable here in the US as has been made evident by several other channels but it's interesting to see that they're still shipping with that. Now this sticker here is the serial number coded to me on my invoice. I was pretty upset with AMD for all this shipping time. It took them nearly five days to hand it off to FedEx, and then FedEx took an additional five days to get it to me. Now, I know there've been a few other unboxings on YouTube already, so I don't think we're doing anything particularly novel here by showing you this card as is, but what we are going to be doing here in the next 24 hours is shooting some videos where we do some temperature and noise level testing in order to get a better idea of how those play out. We've seen the community talk a lot about how loud this card is and where undervolting does help to reduce the threshold temperature and therefore reduce the noise generated by this GPU. We're not satisfied with needing to undervolt. If anything, we want the option to overclock this card significantly. So I think in our next video, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into water cooling. So be sure to check out our next video if you wanna see how we do that. Let's get it swapped out with the two RX 580s this is replacing.
All right guys, we've got 19.2.2 installed. And everything seems to be running just fine. I do recommend that you do a clean install on this driver just to make sure that nothing's hanging up there. Of course, you do lose your opportunity to roll back your driver if you do a clean install, but you're not gonna wanna do that with this card. So guys, I appreciate you hanging with me through this process. I'm sorry for fumbling around a little bit. It is late here, but I just wanted to get this done for you today. In the next video, we will be doing a couple things we mentioned earlier, including water cooling. We will be doing a giveaway on one of these XFX RX 580 GTS Black Editions. So please stay tuned if you want to check that out. I'm Mike. Thanks for watching Circuit Global's first video.